There's a growing number of young people that are beginning to live outside of the box. Tonight we are going to talk to one in this interview special where we ask, is it really safe? In this amazing two-part interview, we'll speak with Joe Francisco, box ditcher, and we'll also speak with Dr. Stiffneck, who's been researching this phenomenon for over 10 years. Well, well, tell us what happened, Joe. How did this all come about? Well, it wasn't just one thing. It was everything all at once, really. Life was just snowballing on me, man. I was, I was at the ultimate low in my life. I was, I was really just getting sick of it, man. I was sick of the boxes I was putting myself in. Sick of, sick of all the misery. It was, it was crushing me. All the, all the guilt over all the mistakes I've made in my life, you know. And it's just, I didn't. I felt so worthless and, and alone. And I didn't even want to live anymore. I was at the point where I really just wanted to die. And that's when I heard a voice in my heart. You, you had a voice in your heart. He told me he'd, he'd take it away from me. He'd take it off of me if I just give it to him. So I did. I took the box off. I just took it off. Wow. Joe, you, you just took the box off your head. Just like that. I mean... Weren't you scared? Uh, that, that would have been crucial. Of course it was. I was totally freaked out. It just, it just blew my mind, man. My gosh. What happened next, Joe? What, what, what did you feel like? Like I said, I was totally freaked out. Yeah, but at the same time, it was an amazing peace. Just love just, just washed over me. It was awesome. All the guilt and pain that I had was taken from me. It was better than any drug. <laughs> Nothing could compare. I have to ask you though, isn't the box part of who we are? Isn't it part of our humanity? When you talk about uh, taking off the box and, and living outside the box, isn't it true that we're actually giving up part of who we are? Aren't we losing something if we lose our boxes? Yeah, you lose your need to hide your failures. You lose your old guilt, your old ways. You lose the chains that bind you. You lose the control that this selfish box space society has over you. And once you lose that, you've gained everything. Joe, you've been living outside the box now for some time. And I, I have to ask, in this period of time, have you, have you ever gone back? Have you ever felt like you needed to get back in your box? No, I've never wanted to go back, but I have. I've went back to my old ways and gone back to my old boxes but that's not where I belong I'll never have that peace there that's not where any of us belong that's why I've dedicated my life to helping other people live outside the box too well Joe I want to tell you I, I, I'm so fascinated by your story I, I really appreciate your time and, and and everything that you're sharing with us it's it's really eye-opening but yet the question we are addressing and we have to ask is, is this really safe? I mean, Joe, is this even safe for you? And is, is it safe for the rest of us box-abiding citizens? That's what we are here to address. If you think about it, that's kind of a silly question. I mean, I'm sitting here, right? I've been out of the box for four years. I'm just fine. But is it just fine? To find out, we've talked to a specialist in the field of box ditches, Dr. Stiffneck, from the University of Association of Research and Sciences for Box-Based Culture and Living. He has been working for over 10 years to determine just whether living outside the box is safe.